Performing Spike Detection. To access all of our desired features, we're going to use the Advanced Workspace. Right-click anywhere in the Experiment window and click Open to open a file. Remember that Brainwave 4 utilizes two different file types, BRW files, which support raw data, and BXR files, which save results. To perform our spike detection, we're going to choose a raw data file. To get a closer view of our data, we have selected four channels. We can modify the chart display settings by clicking the x-axis and the y-axis. To show this chart axes, click the ruler button here. To visualize your data over time, go to the controls window and click play. To review your data, click and drag the pink bar on the timeline. We can see that a lot of spiking activity occurs here. Now to launch our spike detection, click on analysis in the main menu and click spike detection. In the event detection settings, we have channel validation settings. Here you can discard noisy channels. The Brainwave 4 software automatically filters out overactive or oversaturated channels. This option is enabled by default. In the spike detection settings, you can change the algorithm. Each algorithm has its own set of customizations. The precise timing spike detection algorithm will suit most experimental needs. The default settings have already been optimized, so we can click OK. Once we have performed an analysis, the Brainwave 4 software will ask us where to save our BXR file. Note here that the name is in yellow. This means that there is no BXR file linked to the raw data file. By clicking the icon here, we can choose where to save our results file and name it accordingly. Click Save to keep your results.